To use the PipeDrive and PandaDoc Marketplace integration, the first thing you want to do is log into PandaDoc and you'll be on your dashboard here. Then back in your PipeDrive account, you want to navigate to the Marketplace apps, click See All, and then you want to search for PandaDoc. Select Install Now. Allow it to authenticate and you'll receive a confirmation message once that has gone through. So then back in PipeDrive, if I go back to my deal view and I refresh this here, I should see the PandaDoc widget on the left-hand side. So here I now have the PandaDoc Marketplace integration connected. So the next thing to do is to create a template in PandaDoc that I wanna use for the given contract. So super important you do this in the actual contracts or actual templates uh, location. So go to templates on the left hand side um, and you would just click this create button and start creating your template. I have a couple already here pre-populated. So on the one hand, I have a, a full template here with, um, with some tokens as well as fields to be completed by different users. So I'm going to show you how to set up uh, the basics of that. So here is an empty, I just have the text uh, for this consulting agreement. Um, so first thing I want to do is add roles. So I'm going to have two signers for this document. There's going to be the client and the consultant. So I'm going to add the client and then I'm going to add the consultant. And then I'm going to set the signing order. So this toggle here, I want the client to sign first and then the consultant will be the secondary signer. Um, they'll do the counter signature. Then what I'm gonna do is um, set the um, expiration and reminders. So these three dots here, I'm gonna have this be valid for 30 days. And yes, we can warn the signers one day before expiration. So they'll get emails from PandaDoc. And then in reminders, I'll have the first reminder sent after five days works and then repeat every three days or every week. Um, and again, that'll just automatically send reminders on your behalf um, to whoever needs to sign the document next. So then we want to add tokens as well as fields. So fields are things that will be completed by one of the signers uh, and the tokens will automatically pull information in from Pipedrive. So going over back to Pipedrive uh, to figure out the tokens from the deal view, click the down arrow and then click view tokens. That's then going to pop up a page which tells you the exact token name you can use for deal information, organization, and person information, uh, and the information that will get pulled into your template um, when you use it. So as an example here back in PandaDoc, this first blank here is a date field, so entered into on. So I can go to my variables and search date, and I can select from the existing dates, or I can make that a fillable field. For this one, just for sake of demo, I will come in here and put in that token. So I just copied and pasted it into the document. Um, then this, so we have the consultant company name, and then I'm gonna add the company name for uh, the person I am selling to, so that's gonna be the organization name. So here I grab the organization name, paste that in here, don't need all this extra space. Then services, so this is going to be my tool field, so I could come here and type in tools and grab my tool fields and so on and so forth. Here I can do the deal value. So if you update that prior to sending the contract or creating the contract, um, that'll come through. And then I'm gonna add my signature field. So here I'm gonna go 
I'm going to expand this again. So here I have an options of field. So I only need first, uh, this is going to be client field. So I'm going to do the client signature and I can drag and drop and change the sizing of fields. And then this is going to be a date field. I can also change the, the size, make that match. Uh, and then this is going to be signature for the consultant. So I would come here, grab the signature field, same thing, grab the date field here, um, so on and so forth. And then I can add, if I want here, um, the company name. So here, organization name so on and so forth to finish all of this out. Um, so now if I go back to my other template, you'll see here I've got all of that information um, already updated in here. So once you have your template created, um, how do you use it? Then from any deal at any time, and you can use multiple different templates if you have multiple contracts you need to go out, um, what you'll do is click Create Document. It'll take you over to Pandadoc. Then you can select the template you want to use. Go ahead and select the client, and this one was sales rep instead of consultant, so I'll select myself. You can type in other information if they don't yet exist in Pandadoc. Then click Start Editing. And you see how all of this information has populated in from the deal. So all I need to do is check that it is correct. If I need to or want to, I can always delete a token entirely, or I can come in and add information into it. And that's gonna update that. Um, when this gets sent out, everything in orange looks like normal text. So I could come in, click send, uh, send via email, and then this is going to go ahead and send it off. And then here, if I refresh, I will see that document down here on the left-hand side, right within Pipedrive. I can always click to open the deal, the document directly, um, and I can see the status, um, so on and so forth. And again, if I wanted to have multiple documents, all I would do is go ahead and click Create Document again, follow the process, and all of that would be stored on the left-hand side, right within Pipedrive, because of the Marketplace integration.